Hey guys, hair by Jess here, and you guys are seeing almost the finished product of this beauty I'm wearing right now. So she is a lace closure wig that I made in two previous videos um, entitled, Watch Me Work, Watch Me Repair It. So I started off making the wig, and you know how you envision for something to look. I wanted it blue, I wanted it purple. I actually wanted to mimic a color of braiding hair, synthetic braiding hair um blue chocolate and i'll put in the link um to the online store that carries that beautiful color and i just wanted to mimic it in human hair form um and the way i envisioned it did not turn out so well and i noted those mistakes and i started to can the entire video but i said you know what your mistakes are your lessons so <laughs> You're watching the final installment where I redeemed myself, thank the Lord. <laughs> and I was able to pull everything back together and make her look still, to make her look beautiful. So uh, without further ado, you guys will see me finally style her in, um, in its final look. Right now, I've just been wearing her the last couple of days sort of like this with some you know minimal maintenance like brushing through or combing through and putting a little mousse or wax or gel or whatever have you on it but we're going to go ahead and give this a refresh as well and i'm also going to note on the final results of how i felt about how this wig came out um my personal opinion um also experienced some shedding, but we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, go through that at the end of the video. But I want you guys to see the very last installment of this, um, of how I fix my mistakes because I over bleached the knots, everything. And you can see that in the other two videos I have here on my channel, two installments, the first part and the second part. And we're gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> so you guys can see how I fix this because it's not only, only a very good learned lesson for me on what not to do in the future. I'm hopeful that it'll help someone else. All right, until then. <laughs> Last time on Watch Me Fail, Watch Me Repair It. And this is the atrocity that I created for myself trying to do too much with all that hair color. Look at the knots and the lace. Now how orange that scalp looks and how unnatural it looks. Surely this can't be the end. And it's not the end. So what I did after I made all those mistakes is I took to the watercoloring method. You ladies have seen, I'm sure, oodles of times on YouTube. So that was Kiss Temptations Darkest Brown. So I already have my hot water going and you guys know, you ladies know how that this technique goes. So um, as you can see, that's piping hot water. <laughs> So I figured I would re-dye the roots back darkest brown to undo my mistake of over bleaching them. And here we are back at square one. Looks natural. And I'd have to use concealer or other methods to um, make it look realistic. So you guys are seeing me use Murray's Edge Wax, uh, the extreme hold by the way. Once I found out about the Extreme Hold, I upgraded from the original. <laughs> so I'm using this to lay down the part you guys see that I already have in this lace closure wig. Uh, if you guys haven't figured it out from my um, wig repair video, <laughs> revive and restore your favorite. If I catch any kind of leftover hairs in my hair products, I pick them out. <laughs> So that's what you guys have seen me just do before I even started putting product in this hair. So you guys will see me um, get that together and lay that part and lay it down, slick it down so we can lay it down. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, good. I, and um, I will come back with my final thoughts. But you guys enjoy the tunes in the meantime. All right, so you guys are seeing the finished look here. It is nice and smooth, but I do have, and I have my mirror down here. <laughs> um, I do have um, a couple flyaways with it, and I think I can attribute that to the um, damage caused to the lace closure with all those mistakes I made. Hint, hint. <laughs> So, um, one thing I did like about how this, um, unit came out, oh, far away there. um, <laughs> is that, um, and you can't see it on camera. The camera cannot even do it justice. You can only see it when it goes into, when you go into the sunlight. I, I like hair color that does that. It has some depth and some dimension to it. So... And my ring light above me, but that right there, that color, when you go into the sunlight, whenever light hits it, it look, it look good. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, that is one thing I noticed right off the bat. When it was fully dry, I was wearing it when it was kind of like very, very light, light, damp. Um, but within three to four days and I had gone, gone I was on, on I was inside inside of a building with it and someone coming on purple hair and I'm like it can't be but it can't be seen in the sunlight because it was like fully dry and but unless you're close upon me this looks like dark brown hair with maybe dark brown and honey blonde highlights but it has depth to it once you go into the sunlight so that was definitely something i was aiming for for that color i wanted but i still can't call this blue chocolate when the sunlight hits it i see purple i see blue 
There's also raspberry prism in it and every everything else. I use the door, I use Kiss. It's all of that is explained in my other two videos. <laughs> um of me making this. Um so after about a week, that's when I start to notice I'm looking in my mirror again, that little bald spot. Which means I may be revamping this again and just taking the closure part out. This is a four by four closure. Um it's some shedding. I mean, I got to brushing it one day. And with this brush. And I'm not a heavy brusher. You know, I'm trying to, you know, guide the the shaft of the hair. The way I want it to go. So I get that swoosh. <laughs> and it just starts coming out in clumps. Exhibit A, and there's a little here in the part, on if I part it on this side. So I'm like, really? Right just when I was starting to like the color, the length, and I already put a straightening brush through it with heat protected, of course. Um, <laughs> and gotten it look really, really layered the way that I want. And after some wear, and I get to brushing it one morning before I go out, what is this? Hit? And even now, even now, like as I was styling the hair was coming, I'm like, the hair, the bundles itself, great. Beauty supply store, by the way. All the details are in my other two videos. So I'm just sparing you by condensing everything. <laughs> but um, overall, it came out great. It feels like butter. I've used uh, argan oil shampoo conditioner even with me making mistakes it still came out great because the colors show in the exact places they need to go that I did not predict so my mistakes were not only my lessons now also what created this beauty but I will be replacing the closure because I know me I know me <laughs> and I'm trying not to look at myself in the camera and my humble apologies and I'm like that ball spot is distract that's what it is <laughs> so this is the final installment of watch me work watch me repair it or should I say watch me replace the closure until next time